Welcome to your next one, Gus. And every week we get, we get together, we talk about different uh, different situations that happen in our, in our lives. Experiences. Experiences, if you will. Yeah. And we had uh, an experience together which I wasn't too fond of. I went. We went to Rite Aid the other day, me and Gus, and we were out there shopping and... and I was sick, I needed some cold medicine. Well, he went over in there to get some broken tests, and I actually went in there just to get some slam magazines to read some basketball stuff. And we were actually in the uh, Jello aisle where they keep all the stuff for like Jellos and party supplies. It's a good aisle. It's one of my favorites. And there was this just gelatinous human being. There was this guy who was. Who I was like no shape. Where it's just it's like figures. It's shapes. He doesn't even. It's not even like a person. It's just like shapes. Like he'll be a triangle, and then like his fat will move around, and he'll be like a square. He's, that guy was crazy. I think that's probably the best way to put it. The guy. Let's just say. He had no figure. He was yeah. shapes. Yeah, that's what it was. And, well, the thing is, his name was Joe because it actually sat on his shirt, Joe. And he worked for this, believe it or not, he was an electrician. And so, he was actually in the jello aisle what and I was out there. Huh? What was you doing? Fixing the electricity? No, no, he was in the jello aisle, I guess, shopping. And it, you were there, but I guess you went over to get your lower yeah. Anyway, so he was in there and he was get, I was getting the jello and I turn around and all I see is just this big line of hair. And I'm like, dear God, and I didn't want to. I didn't want to look, but the thing is, the hair kept on crawling out. It was like to the point where it was in my face. So uh, I basically where where you need the machete, and you're like, no, I'm lost, I'm lost. Well, if it was like that, dude, that I seriously commit suicide right then and there. But the thing is, I got so scared, and I basically wanted to scream. So I left, and every that's when aisle I, when I like showed up because you showed up every single aisle we would be at. And like, he would have happen yeah. to come in. Yeah, it was like he was stalking us. Every time I looked at him face to face, he would just smile at me like, How you doing? And, I don't know, I, I, really, I really felt uncomfortable. I think, I know you did because you were... Dude, yeah, no, no. I wanted yeah. to go. I wanted to go, like, I really did. I already had my meds and I wanted to, I wanted to head out there. So, basically what happened is, we get outside, we pay for our merchandise, we go outside, we're actually getting in the car, and this very, very same guy walks up to our window. And like taps on the window. Taps it. it Dude, the freakiest moment, like one of the freakiest moments in my whole life. Freakiest moment. Like, turn around, he was following scared. us around in the store and he follows us to our car. And he has a hat. And you know how I'm wearing my hat right now? He had it like that. And he didn't have it like that before. Before it was just like this, you know, all below his eyes, like he was a rapist or something. <laughs> now he had it the exact same way I did. A little bit of the veins coming out. Dude. Tell him what happened next. Dude, so like we sit there and he starts tapping on the window and we're like, um, we gotta go and he starts tapping harder, right? And dude, freaking all of a sudden, like, I guess he had keys in his hand. The window breaks. He breaks the window. Well, my car isn't. Oh, yeah, it was uh, his car. It's a little bit kind of old. I understand. The but whole still, thing is like, like, I wanted to get so inside and I guess... Tell us or talk to us like so bad or something. So, okay, so we find, I finally open the door and I get outside and I have Gus with me who's like 6'3", so... Yeah. I feel kind of protected a little bit. Right. So the guy is like... Yeah, I need to ask you a question. And so Gus was just like, what do you need, man? And he was like, he looks at me and he gives me the coldest sneer ever. And he just licks his lips. So he keeps on licking his lips. And he looks at me and he looks me up and down like if I was a freaking... Like you were a freaking turkey, like... Like, mm, like, if, he, like if I was dinner. Like if I was dinner. He was looking at me like if he was about to chew me yeah. down. Like if I was just a piece of bone. Which would explain and he asks, his shapes. And he asks a very, very, very... Uh, the word question. is, no, that, the word's not weird. The word is uncomfortable question. Oh, dude, yeah. Well, coming That's from a guy, it. it's a very, very uncomfortable question. Mm -hmm. It says, where are you heading off tonight? But it doesn't ask, like, where are you heading off tonight? Like, like a friend would. He where asks, are you going? where are you heading off tonight? Where are you going tonight? With the eye. He goes, oh, yeah. The, where the eye where it's like, where are you heading off tonight? And then he winked. He freaking winked. Like, it was more like a happy, because I could see happy was people. like. Where are you going? Don't do that. Please, it's scary. Please stop. Dude, I'm just saying. I haven't been able to sleep. Seriously. You guys scared me. Did so, you that, huh? he asks the question. Oh, I have a message. He asks the question. And the message is. And I basically stumble back. And Gus responds for me. You don't want to know what Gus did? I said he needs to move. And he didn't move, so I punched him in the face. Punched him in the face. Now, that's not the Christian thing to do, but the thing is, the guy. I think he was reaching towards his pocket like to find something. Yeah, I don't know if it was because we were completely like denying him. And my mom's always told me that, you know, 
they can sometimes pull out those little handkerchiefs and they can put it on your face and they can like drag you, yeah, put it in your the car, chloroform. take you home, treat you like saw, have you chained up all night and find you like three years later. Or like this cadaver. Room, silence of the Lions. Like silence, like silence. Hello, Clarice. Yeah. <laughs> I actually like that movie. <laughs> Anyways, in the story, speaking of dress on. <laughs> Yeah, wow. Wow. This is a good movie. Remember how it ends? The guy, he's like yeah. eating the, the brain thing or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> the thing of the story yeah. is this. I love that movie so much. Yeah. I remember like my dad. He took me to go see that movie, but my mom got so mad. Like, no, Dude, like, my dad wouldn't even let me watch that movie. I had to watch it like five years ago. No. That was because like I was like, I want to watch this freaking the movie. The thing is, I would talk to my sister with the whole Hannibal Lecter voice. Yeah. So she'd be like, hey, bring my Barbies, please. And I'd be like, sure, Jolie. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like, I even went to my teacher. Her name was Mrs. Smith. And she's like, we're not present. <laughs> it was hilarious. Oh, no. I found it hilarious. Anyways, um, so the, the moral of the story is be careful with guys named Joe who have really big butt cracks. And, and who, ha who are shapes. Shape. By, what shapes. we mean by shapes is just he's not big, he's not small, but he's got places in his and body where like, so it's coming fat. out. Where it's like, you don't even know what part that is. Like, it could be his arm, it could be his, like, torso. You don't even know. It could, it could be, be like, he could have, like, five arms and be like... Okay, that's just, like, Godzilla versus some... Dude, no, like it's happening. He was disgusting, dude, so just be careful, you guys. Man. Jeez, who keeps on messaging me? It doesn't matter, man. Finish the show. Well, it's probably... I don't know who it is, actually. She's probably gonna get mad. If you're watching right now, I'm sorry if I didn't respond to your message. I'm actually kind of in a busy thing. Um, we're doing this, as yeah, you can tell. We're doing this, and that's basically what we wanted to share today. So. Yeah. Have a good day. Catch you guys later. No, no, be careful with guys named Joe, alright? Yeah. Suck him in the face. Yeah, suck him in the face. Nice.